Okay, YouTube. Today we're going to be talking about the free checks system. Okay. The free check system is a three piece die that you use to make gas checks for cast bullets. Okay. You get these three pieces with it, like I said. This is the actual die body itself, it's this piece. Okay. This piece right here is where the sheet that you're using, the aluminum sheeting, goes through and you line it up till it's flush. Okay. And then this piece is the rod that you actually strike through the middle. Once you've punched out the um, aluminum sheeting, this is what actually forms the cup of the gas check. Okay. Now, the Free Checks 2 system is really handy because it allows you to essentially ex experiment with different materials to get the desired thickness that you want. You can make gas checks out of anything from, like right here we just have some aluminum flashing like you get at Home Depot or Lowe's that's uh, about 15 thousandths of an inch thick. You can use uh, old soda cans, you can use Copenhagen cans, you can use old uh, brass uh, if you're able to get you know old brass casings and, and stamp them out uh, flat enough like a sheet you can use this die to punch gas checks out of them. Out of all of the materials that I've, uh, I've experimented with, with the gas checks, free check system, uh, the 15,000 inch aluminum flashing you see here uh, tends to work the best. And I've shot these out to about 2300 foot a second on heavy charges of blue dot out of my K31 without the slightest bit of problems. So uh, I'm going to move on to talk a little bit about this rig that we've uh, devised here. I should say Chad has uh, devised a little rig here. And uh, we're going to punch some gas checks and show you how quick this uh, thing uh, process can move along. Now you're going to want some kind of a uh, non-marring mallet or hammer. In this case we have a wooden mallet. And uh, if any of you have seen my bullet casting videos, you'll know that it's the same mallet I used to hit the sprue plate on my bullet molds. <laughs> but um, anyway, you're going to need some sort of mallet that's not going to mar the crap out of this thing when you hit it. Now, you can also use an arbor press or a drill press if you want to rig you up some sort of little contraption to do that with. In this case, we just have an old cigar box with a block of wood that Chad took a step uh, bit, wood cutting bit, spade bit, and cut a hole in it large enough for this to sit in and then a smaller hole to clear the pin because as you can see when the pin is at its furthest extent of its travel it protrudes out of the bottom of the die so you want a hole that can clear that that pin but still keep this piece in place so he discovered a neat little uh, way to do that and I will take close-up photos of his little contraption here but as you can see we have it C-clamped to the table so I'm going to let Chad take over here, and he's just going to punch out some uh, gas checks to show you how quick this process can go. This is the 30 caliber, 311 diameter gas check die. Okay, so the first stage is putting the sheet into the die, as you can see. Then you're using the die body to press out their circumference, the small sheet that actually presses out of the uh, aluminum sheeting. Then the rod forces the aluminum sheet down through the bottom piece of the die and forms a cup. Okay. Uh, for some of you this may not be an entirely viable option depending on what you're wanting to do. However, for what it is, you can produce excellent results and if you're just looking for a, a cheap gas check just for plinking and you don't want to go broke this is definitely a good way to do it now I know there's several of you that are thinking to yourself well a thousand gas checks is only thirty five dollars well if any of you guys have checked Midway recently uh, you'll know that gas checks are pretty much non-existent and they're getting very difficult to find not really difficult, it's just that you have to go out of your way to really um, to get the types you want. Um, especially the common calibers, the 30 cal and um, 22 caliber and all that. Now this particular um, free checks tool is one of the earlier ones that has the plastic 
um, dye body shroud on it. Um, I actually spoke to the inventor of this system, and he's actually going to be offering a few different types that are made completely out of uh, tool grade steel. So they should last a heck of a lot longer. Although I have punched out probably about, so far, about 300 checks. And it doesn't show the first sign of uh, wearing out or, you know, anything like that. So as you can see, Chad is uh, making quick work of these uh, aluminum flashing material. And we're going to get a look at how these uh, gas checks look. I also have some that are seated on bullets that we're lubing right now. As soon as I get some out, I'll take some close-up photos of how the bullets look with the gas check installed. And uh, we'll go out and do some shooting with them. Well, I've actually already done quite a bit of shooting with this system in the K31. Um, just go to Google and type in, uh, or, or check my page. And it's uh, K31 uh, with experimenting with the uh, Free Checks 2 system. Um, but essentially, this is how you use it. And like I said, the, uh, the energy that he's imparting on the actual die, you can substitute an arbor press, a drill press, you know, anything like that. But this is just to show you, you know, how you can do it with hand tools. So and that's basically it. So we're going to move on to the photos. 